So this is the third video in the Bootstrap series and in this video we're going to be adding our navigation menu to the top of our web page. So before we do that let's go up here to this script tag and since we're not on a server and we're just doing this on our computer uh, we need to go ahead and add a HTTP and then the semicolon or the little two dots whatever it is and also we need to get one more thing and let's go over to get bootstrap Dot com for that and go to getting started and once on this page if you scroll down you'll come to this basic template right here and we need to grab this meta tag with the name viewport so let's just go ahead and copy that line and go back over here to the document that we're working with and go right up here above the title give yourself a few lines and just paste that and let's come down here now to the body and delete the hello world and now let's go get our navigation menu so go back over to getbootstrap.com if you scroll back up to the top you can go to components and over here on the right hand side you'll see where it says navbar so once on this page go ahead and scroll down till you see this example right here and this is going to tell us what we need so the first thing we need is a nav class navbar. So let's just go ahead and copy this. It's a lot easier. So we'll copy that. We'll go over to our document and we'll paste that right here. And we're going to go ahead and go down here and add the closing nav tag. And then uh, go back over to bootstrap. And the next thing we want is we want this brand and then we want these links right here. We're not going to take this search box or these two links over here on the right hand side. Uh, we just want these links and the little logo. So in order to get that, first thing we need to do is let's grab this navbar header right here. So just copy that and go back over to your document and go ahead and paste that. and. I'm just going to go ahead and tab this out just so it's easier to read our code. Um, tab these spans out and space between here and this div. And now let's go back over to Bootstrap. And the next thing we need to grab is the links. And that's going to be right down here. So we just want from this unordered list up to this div right here. And you'll notice we just we ended at this unordered list, so we're going to have to add the ending div in our document. But let's go back over here and below this div right here. Go ahead and paste that. Or, oops. Go back over here. Copy that go back to our document and paste that and let's go ahead and space this out to we can figure out what everything is come down here all right and we need to add this closing div so right below this unordered list go ahead and add a the closing div tag and we want to scoot this whole thing over or no it's fine for now um, the next thing we need to do is if you go back over here to bootstrap you'll see that this whole thing is wrapped in a div called container fluid so let's go ahead and grab that just copy that Go back over here and right before the first div paste that in and then let's go down here to the very bottom and right before the closing nav tag just go ahead and add that closing div in so there's that um, if we go ahead and save this and go back over to our browser and let's go to file and we're going to open up this file we're working with. So if you find your uh, file, 
go to index.html and open and now you can see our website right here or at the beginning of it and if you notice this is just kind of like a light gray and we're gonna go ahead and change that to black and also it's kinda of got rounded corners and we want it to be straight across and we also want this navigation menu to stay at the top of the web page so if we have a bunch of content and we're scrolling down to the very bottom we don't want this to move with us as we scroll we want it to stay up here so the first thing we're going to do is change this to black so if you go back over to bootstrap and you just scroll back or scroll down from this example you'll come down to inverted navbar and in order to do that we just need to change the class of navbar default to navbar inverse so if we go back to our document right up here at the very top where the nav class if you just uh, delete this default and add inverse that'll change it to black then just give yourself a space but still inside those quotes put a navbar fixed top and this is going to keep the navigation stuck to the top of the page so when we scroll down it's not going to go down with us so if we go ahead and save this and then go to our web page and now it's straight across and it's black and it's going to stay at the top the next thing we want to do is come up here and customize these links and the brand so go back over to our document and if you notice uh, right here in this A class brand, let's change that. And you can change it to anything you want. I'm just going to change it to Bootstrap if I can spell it. And the next thing I'm going to do is go down here and let's get rid of this LI class active. Just go ahead and delete it. And we're going to change this first link to home and we'll change the second link to we'll just put it as content right now we'll come back and change that later and I'm gonna go ahead and space that out because this is our drop down menu and let's change the name of our drop down menu and you do that by in this little uh, ahref link go down here and where it says drop down we're just gonna put tutorials for now uh, the next thing we want to do is let's add a about us and a contact page so let's just go ahead and copy these two links right here and down here below the drop down menu um, we're gonna go below this last uh, closing list item tag and we're gonna paste them right there and let's change this one to about us and this one to contact us so now if we save this and go back over to our web page and refresh it, you'll now see that it's changed to everything we just put in there. And we haven't changed these drop down uh, link names yet, but we can get to that later. We don't have these linked to any other pages, but we will create those pages and link to those. In the next video, we will be adding a footer down here to the bottom of our page, kind of like just up here at the top and then we'll start adding content to our home page and continue on building the rest of the pages so uh subscribe to my channel so you can keep following along on these tutorials if you have any troubles or anything like that just add a comment to this video and i'll help you and keep watching